Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install OBS on a Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip, but this should apply for any modern Intel Mac or Apple Silicon Mac as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the obsproject.com. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And then what we're going to do is to click on the Mac OS logo here, and it's going to start automatically downloading the OBS DMG file. So once that's finished downloading, I'm going to click on the download itself and open up the DMG. You can also find this in your downloads folder under Finder. You can double click on this obs-mac dmg file once that's opened you'll automatically get this window open and what you want to do is to click on the obs icon and then hold and drag this and put this into the applications folder once that's done you'll find that obs has been copied and installed into your applications folder here i'm going to double click on this now to open it here it's asking us if we're sure we want to open it i want to click open here so now obs has opened and it's asking if we want to check for updates automatically i'm going to allow this to check automatically I'm going to double click on this bar to full screen it here. And now we're ready to record the screen or anything else that you want to record. So the main thing here is that we have to be aware of the sources. So you want to be able to add and record something in your source. And let's say we want to record the screen. We're going to add a display capture here and we're going to click OK. And we're going to allow OBS to record the screen. Here it's asking us to give permission to OBS to do so. I want to click on this padlock and then authenticate with my finger. We're going to allow OBS permission by clicking the box on the left of it and click later here. Now we're going to press OK. We're not able to see this at the moment because we need to restart OBS. I'm going to click on the OBS taskbar menu here and then click quit OBS. Let's open up OBS again. So it's gone into this infinite loop because we're recording the screen, which is recording the screen. So for example, if I have the web browser open here and I click start recording, then it's going to start recording this scene, which I've already set up here. And then I minimize OBS, then it's going to produce a recording of this entire screen. What you also probably want to do is to add a microphone audio source. So what I'm going to do is to click plus here and then click audio input capture. And I'm going to click OK. And then here we have the opportunity to select a device. So what we could do is to select my Blue Yeti or for example, the MacBook Air microphone. If you want to be able to capture audio from say, a game that you're playing or something that's happening in a web browser, the audio coming from that, then you'll want to install something called Black Hole. I'll leave a link in the description for how to set up something like Black Hole so that you can record gameplay or browser or anything playing in the middle of the screen. And that will be incorporated into the recording that is released. So here I'm just going to select my MacBook Air microphone. As you can see, as I'm talking, this audio is being captured by the microphone there. And that is how we want that to work. What we can also do is to add other capture devices. For, for example, I can click video capture device here and then I want to click a new one here and I'm going to select a device. So for example, I can select my HD camera. It's asking us for permission to do so and click OK. And uh, now I can see myself in this screen. So I can press OK here. And uh, what I can do is to put this in a specific part of the screen if I want to. And then I could kind of create a recording or a stream based on this OBS here. So if, for example, it's a bit disorientating having the view of the OBS there, I'm going to click on this eye icon here to disable that view. And let's say I just want to capture this particular window here. What I can do is press the plus icon here and then click window capture. And then I'm going to select a specific window. So for example, I'm going to select Google Chrome, welcome OBS. I'm going to click that. And I just want to capture that part of the screen. I don't want to capture parts of the desktop. I can resize this a little bit. I can, for example, do this, make this bigger, etc. That's just going to capture the window and also my face here. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This is just a very basic way to install and set up OBS on a MacBook. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.